All right, guys, we're tackling the biggest issue, the most red-hot subject in the whole country at the moment, coloured $2 coins. So in Australia, the collecting of coloured $2 coins really sort of came to the forefront of the collecting community in 2012 with the Red Poppy. This coin was originally issued directly through RSLs, so if you made a donation, I believe it was about $10, you were given one of these coins on a presentation card. And surprisingly, the uptake on these for collectors initially was pretty quiet, and a number of them ended up getting deposited directly into a bank. Since then, in 2013, the first purple coloured $2 coin was issued to celebrate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, and I think it was around this time that people started to uh, maybe warm up a little bit to the idea of $2 coin collecting, particularly these, these coloured ones. And since then, it's just elevated exponentially, you might say. So there's a number of different forms that you can collect $2 coins in. It may sound strange, but there are different, different forms of uh, presentation that are, certain people favour, uh, maybe one over the other, and some actually exclusively. And there are a couple of different variations to be on the lookout for as well. I have here the C Mint Mark Honey Bee $2 coloured coin, which the Royal Australian Mint has just released. And I think this is a pretty cool coin. Uh, it's a, a bit of a departure in terms of subject matter. Often it's commemorating things uh, like uh, war anniversaries, um, you know, frontline workers, um, people in emergency services and things like that. But I feel like this is, a, it feels like a little bit more of a lighthearted take on the coloured $2 coin. So it's been incredibly popular and I can certainly see why. Uh, it's an interesting design. PNCs. This is a really, really interesting one. This was uh, to commemorate the anniversary of decimalisation in Australia, which occurred in February 1966. And But what we're looking at more so here is the presentation format. So this is a PNC, also known as a philatelic numismatic cover, which is a fancy way of saying a stamp and coin cover. Uh, some people will refer to these as a postal numismatic cover. So it relates to the the philatelic component being the stamp here and the numismatic element or the coin aspect being the coin here. So this is another really popular way that some people like to collect their $2 coins. Occasionally referred to as private issues. Uh, these, uh, this is a little example of some of the packaging produced by a company I used to work for, uh, Downies. So Downies Coins and Collectibles produced their own packaging for some of the coloured $2 coins. Uh, these two on the left uh, slightly older examples and then here on my right is the more common style that you'll see a number of different coins issued in so there are some people that like to collect all in this style because they like the consistency in their collection then we have the Royal Australian Mint packaging uh, so similar rectangular card similar to the the Downey style uh, the Royal Australian Mint now produce their own with unique artwork and things like that and then really popular with collectors is the C Mint Mark issues now, the letter C is actually imprinted on the coin, um, and that stands for Canberra, which is where the Royal Australian Mint is located. And you'll generally find that these particular coins, in addition to being in different presentation packaging, they're also produced in far lower quantities. So they are specifically intended for the collector's market. Uh, this particular coin, they only made 40,000 with the C Mint mark, and you'll often see in the secondary market where collectors are exchanging these types of coins that these generally are quite sought after. Moving on we have coin rolls. This is a really really popular pastime for a lot of coin collectors. Um, even my dad when I started in this industry would always ask me if I had any RAM rolls and I, I have actually been collecting coin rolls for a number of years now and I like to say that I, I was doing it before it was trendy. I uh, have a number of the older rolls which you'll also see on the website. Uh, up for sale. Uh, so before the Royal Australian Mint were producing the coloured $2 coin rolls, they were producing rolls for a variety of different coins like the commemorative dollars and 50 cent coins and things like that. But certainly the coloured $2 coin roll collecting has taken off in a big way. I've even got the original bag that I, uh, that I got these in. Uh, I drove all the way to Canberra from Melbourne on the day that these were being produced. Uh, so this is a counter-stamped coin. So there is a little poppy design which was stamped in the centre of these particular coins 
and there was only a limited amount of them that were produced and you had to physically go to the mint on the day to get them. So any of these purchased from Thompson's Coins were hand-picked <laughs> by myself. <laughs> Last but not least, we have single coins just by themselves. So it's probably the most straightforward way to collect colored $2 coins, given that you can get them in your change. So it can also be a very cost-effective way to get it. Um, if you pursue the pastime of noodling, that is uh, going to the bank and getting coin rolls and digging through and looking for any interesting or unique coins, obviously the colored $2 coins jump out as something a little unique and is a really great way to get your collection started. Um, alternatively, if you're just wanting to get um, you know, straight away get the coin that you're after. You can always go to a coin dealer like myself or there are a number of others out there that'll happily supply you with any particular coins that are missing from your collection. So there you go, a bit of an overview on $2 coin collecting, uh, more so the coloured coins which are really popular at the moment. If there's anything particular that you're after or that you're needing to fill your collection or if you just want to learn a little bit more about it, feel free to get in touch at thompsonscoins.com or you can reach me directly at matt at thompsonscoins.com. Thanks for watching.